so it's a win-win across the board if, if we have medical professionals in helping in design and the acquisitions of the right gear for our people. And as an operational audiologist in the Navy, reactively um, on the medical side, we treat and diagnose hearing disorders as well as balance disorders and then work hand in hand with otolaryngologists and medical doctors effectively trying to manage some of these pathologies that can happen. Noise-induced hearing loss because that is the most common cause of hearing loss in the military. Regardless of what your job is, we're just more exposed. It can be from weapons fire. Of course, it can be from aircrafts like our aviators have. So the loudest place outside combat uh, in the world is the uh, deck of an aircraft carrier. You know, where you have up to 140 decibels with uh, uh, jet planes launching off the deck and things like that. There's just so many exposures that we have. So it's how do we mitigate those exposures and protect our warfighters to keep them effective and efficient in their jobs. So hopefully we can save, we can save hearing um, for the individual and later on save the taxpayers money because we don't have to have, deal with those disabilities.